morning peeps it is wednesday today i think it's the 25th i just got out of spin class um so i've gone sunday monday tuesday wednesdays so i'm already at four days so i'm gonna hit my five day goal this week you hear that listen y'all listen sounds like the sounds i love nothing but quiet in the refrigerator that means it's nap time no i'm just kidding so it's nap time i'm trying to finish up some work and then i'm about to go get my apple pencil now y'all i love electronics but i'm not a techno geek so i'll have all these electronics and have the basic knowledge of how to use them and that's a shame but my soul has been burning for an apple pencil like i just feel like it's gonna make my life so much easier i've gotten so lazy with my texting i don't feel like typing in the little letters i just don't want to do it anymore i just want to be able to take it and tap and then <laughs> i'm done anywho i went to spend this morning I went to the 5.30 a.m. class. Let me tell y'all, the 5.30 a.m. class, it sounds horrible, but the instructors they have in there be ready to get it. They be getting it. And so today we had a new school versus old school playlist. And <laughs> I was ready to start to working on that chair. <laughs> working on that chair, but my butt hurts, so. I couldn't do it but anyways i wanted to spend early this morning came home i'm trying to do this intermittent fasting thing but i just don't i have to i work out so hard and i burn so many calories like it's impossible for me not to eat i'm not gonna be able to do them so i was supposed to do it. i'm just so my eating hours initially were supposed to be from 2 p.m to 8 p.m that's not gonna work I'll die because if I'm burning 500 calories in spin class and then the energy is burning like another 300, your girl needs some fuel. I'm not going to make it. So I'm thinking I'm going to try fasting from, from 6 to 10. And when I say fast, that's excluding my little scoop of peanut butter that I have to eat before spin. If I don't have something in my stomach before spin, I'm going to die. There's no way. Intermittent fasting, but with a caveat because that's the only way it's gonna work um so yeah i'm doing this intermittent mm -hmm. fasting i'll let y'all see how that goes what else is going on okay tell me what y'all think so b simone she's one of my favorite comedians i actually i didn't like her at first her voice was annoying but now she's definitely one of my favorites she went on nick cannon's podcast and she was talking about since she's an entrepreneur, mm -hmm. she doesn't want to date a man who works a nine to five because he won't understand her hustle. And I was listening to Straight from the Heart. It's a podcast with Kevin Hart and all the Plastic Cup Boys. If y'all don't watch that y'all or listen to it, it is so funny. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, they are some straight fools. They were saying that um, they didn't agree with what she was saying because... A lot of times in a relationship, one person will be an entrepreneur and the next person will be the stability and punch the nine to five. That's how it is in my relationship. My husband, he's a barber, he has his own business. And I'm, well, most people know I'm in the military. So yeah, he's an entrepreneur, but I'm the stability. So I'm the medical, I'm mm -hmm. the consistency. There are a lot of months he makes more money than me, but those months that he doesn't, we still have the consistent check, like no matter what, we have this coming in. And I just think, you know, it's just about balance and you shouldn't <laughs> on somebody who's working a nine to five, you know, just like, you know, I look up to entrepreneurs. I think they're so lucky they can get to do their own thing and their, uh, their income is kind of like in their own hands. Um, when me, for example, my income stays the same. It changes every two years because you get an increase for your time and service. And if you get a promotion, um, you get an increase. But other than that, there's no overtime. What you get is what you get. And it's not changing. So, I don't know. I love her, but I kind of disagree with that only because I'm in that situation. Anywho, my battery's about to die. So, I will record when I go pick up my Apple Pencil. 
Oh, so I was so excited to go get my Apple Pencil. I knew I was gonna record everything, but per usual, I was running late and then I got to the car and then I didn't have no mask. So I had to run back in the house and get a mask. So anyways, <laughs> y'all, this is it. This is it. Exciting, right? You know, it's really, really dope. This is my Apple Pencil. Um, I just got an iPad Pro and I mean, you have to have the accessories. I mean, what's the point? It's like getting a wig with no glue. You need it all together. Greetings, peeps. So today is Saturday, June 27th, and um, I had a little, a little pause in my weight loss journey because it's that time. Here, and I automatically gain at least five to seven pounds of water weight. That being said, I got these cheesecake bites. I don't know if you can see them. Okay. So before this whole pandemic started, Whole Foods used to have these cheesecake bites that were cold and they were like covered in chocolate. Oh my God. But Miss Rona came and messed all that up. So I went to Whole Foods. So I went to Whole Foods to, cause I wanted like some cheese and just some like healthy snacks. And I had the nerve to think I was gonna buy stuff to make for dinner. $70 later, I come out with one bag of groceries. It was literally one bag. Um, so I kind of live in the hood. I'm from San Diego. So everybody says, I don't know what the hood is. Right now, I feel like we live in the hood, but it's just where all the minorities, um, where you can find most, most of us at. You can tell by the facilities, the grocery stores, everything that they know these this is where all the minorities are because the grocery stores suck they're overpriced they never have any fruit they never have any meat it's just so frustrating so as much as i try to support my community there's nothing in my community so i have to go elsewhere and it's horrible anyway i went to whole foods to buy some stuff and it was a mess i spent like 70 bucks and came out with like a box like one bag full of stuff. Anywho, I really wanted some cheesecake bites and they didn't have the ones that I wanted. So I got the ones in the bakery counter. Try to open it up. This is what it looks like. So, I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to taste it. Hmm. I'm not a frosting person. With the frosting? It doesn't taste bad, but let's get to the point, okay? These cheesecake little things, they're bomb. They're bomb. Typically, I only like those cheesecake bites, the ones covered in chocolate from Whole Foods, or I get my cheesecake from Cheesecake Factory. I mean, for $2 a piece, they should be bomb. Anywho, yeah. So, we're gonna resume my weight loss journey like maybe a week from now. I'm still teleworking. My husband's a barber, so he's at work. So I've been home with our daughter working and you know, mommy. Some days is harder than others, but my husband will come home from work and he'll say, oh, what'd you do all day? Thinking like we've just been home chilling. I'm like, you do know I have a job. Other than being a mommy, I have a job and I'm a supervisor. So just because I'm at home doesn't mean I'm here chilling, trust me. I kind of miss going back to the office, but then I don't because everything's starting, the numbers, up, that second wave is about to hit. We're supposed to be going to Dallas in August, but I don't think that's gonna happen. I'm so sad. I had so many trips planned for this year, just like everybody else. But I think I'm just gonna take an L and we'll save our money and Hopefully next year things will be better and we can, Saturday my husband buys my daughter like a little toy just for being good that week and they're just all over the place so she about to wake up to some <laughs> toys in a trash bag because she doesn't need all of them. I can't even lie, that face mask I did last night, I ain't got no makeup on. Put a little SPF on. I'm telling you, if you take care of your skin, I promise. If you take care of your skin, I promise it will show. You know what time it is, time to get.
workout on and week four.